Joel Montalbano, Deputy ISS Program Manager. Joel, Soyuz rocket on the pad, ready to go for launch. An experienced crew ready to spend a few days on orbit with six additional crew members on the station. Talk about the complexity over the first few days of this mission. Well, Rob, it's, uh, first of all, I'll start out saying it's a great day again to be in Baikonur, to get another crew ready to go to launch. This crew is experienced, they've trained, they're ready to go. Uh, the first time in a while that we've had nine people on orbit. You know, this crew will go do a, another Flight Day 1 rendezvous, like you've seen in the last few Soyuz missions. We'll do a quick EVA. As part of that EVA, the torch will be brought outside. The crew will come back in, we'll prepare for landing and bring another crew home. We are ready to go and, and the crews are ready to go. Of course, the reason to have nine crew members on board at the same time is the delivery to the station of the Olympic torch and its return back to Earth. How about the symbolism of what the torch represents and how it co collates to the International Space Station and day-to-day -day operations? Well, when you look at the, the Olympic flag and, and you think of the five rings, and those rings were originally designed for the five areas of the world that were participating in the Olympics. And I'll take a little poetic license and say those five rings are for the five space agencies. Canadian Space Agency, Japanese Space Agency, European Space Agency, Roscosmos, and NASA. And for the five days that the torch will be on board, that'll be a symbol of our partnership, what we can do on board Space Station, and the great things we can accomplish. Mike Fossum, Deputy Director for Flight Crew Operations, Johnson Space Center. Mike, uh, another Soyuz on the pad just weeks from when we were here last. Uh, your thoughts about the crew's preparedness to launch a veteran crew ready to spend an extraordinarily busy few days on orbit at the outset. These guys are launching into a really busy time, and it's neat because, like you say, there there are no rookies on this crew. They're all experienced. They know what they're getting into. They've been training for two and a half years, and uh, they're down here, and they're ready to go. How do you pull off a launch, a landing, an EVA in about three and a half days, all because of the Olympic torch being brought to and returned from the station? I think part of the, the what uh, prepares us for success is the crew. The, the crew is experienced, so they're ready to jump into this and get to work. And they'll have to. It'll be very busy, but it's exciting to be launching the Olympic torch with them. And of course, they'll have a very busy time as they prepare to conduct the spacewalk almost immediately. And then the next crew goes home. So we'll have nine people for just a few days in a very, very busy time. Mike, the Olympic torch, uh, extraordinarily symbolic. I mean, it's drawn a tremendous crowd here for this particular launch. Uh, you're, talk a little bit about the, how the torch correlates to the work day to day on the International Space Station that you're so heavily involved with uh, uh, on an almost 24 hour a day uh, aspect. Well, the Olympics themselves are a, a, a big, uh, they, they really embody international cooperation with the nations of the world coming together with the competition, but it's still cooperation as they work to uh, have the different uh, events and, and as we showcase the world. The International Space Station, of course, is also another way of representing the world, the nations of the world, many of the nations of the world working together. And the torch carries that flame, that flame, that spirit, as, a, as Russia is preparing to host the next Olympics and the, the torch is making its way around the world in different ways and, of course, carrying it into space, what could be you know, more exciting and truly symbolic of the unity of the entire planet coming together than carrying that torch for a few laps around the planet. 